My name is Dan Lowe. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a program to generate random notes in C major scale or other keys, like a D key, for example, in Python. So, at the end of the video, you should be able to generate shit music like this, okay? And all the notes here are in C major scale okay so software I used uh, well, all free first I use uh, Anaconda Jupyter lab then I use Python 3.7.3 and I'm running in Windows 10 and I use a scamp uh, package I can go to there this link uh, to get the package I also uh, use a freeware music score to generate a uh, PDF music. So before we start, let's take a look at the 88 keys standard keyboard uh, to pitch mapping. So let's say this is a uh, 88 keys uh, keyboard, and if you take a closer look at, at all the keys here, so we check the middle C is right here, okay, and there's a C sharp D. D sharp E F G A B like this. Okay. So we want to find out what the pitch mapping you know, from the middle C uh, to the software, uh, which is 60 in this case. In the scam, we use a pitch 60 to represent the middle C. And then uh, obviously one octave high C will be 12 plus 60 which is 72 because in between there are 12 notes. Similarly, we know this is uh, uh, two octaves uh, high C, 84, and uh, another 12, 96, and uh, finally ended at 108. And for me to C go lower, this is a 48 because 60 minus 12 is a 48, and 48 minus 12 is 36, 36 minus 12 is a 24, okay. And we have some depth over right there. Okay, but now let's take a look at this D key. Uh, the distance between C and D is two because there's a C sharp in between. So C is 60, so C sharp is 61, so D is 62. So the pitch for E, again, you add two to it. So it's 62 plus two is 64, and 63 is a D sharp or E flat. And F, because E, F only next to each other, so F is 65, okay? And for lower, since this is 24, this is 23, this is 22, and it is 21. So in piano, uh, 88 key, standard keyboard, uh, the lowest note that you can get is 21, the highest one you can get is 108. So if you do the 108 minus 21 plus one, that's 88, so altogether 88 keys. Um, each one has its own pitch. So if you look at closer again, uh, if you want to find out given a pitch that is start with a C, you want to derive the C major scale, D, E, F, G, A, B. So there are two ways to do it at least. So first we can remember the, the gap in between C and D, which is two, and D and A is two, and E, F is one, F, G is two, G is 2, A, B is 2, and B, C is 1. So that's one way to do it. Uh, another way to do it is we can uh, we record the distance from the node to the beginning node. Let's say we create the distance based on the C. Okay, so C will be to itself is 0. D to C is, is 2. And E to C is, e is 4 because it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And F is 5. G is 7, A is 9, and B is 11. So the 11th note from C is B. Okay, So that's uh, the distance that we need to keep uh, for uh, generating the notes, you know, given a note from C. And notice that this is major scale. Okay, And we're going to use this uh, distance array to generate all the notes here. Okay, so let's take a look at major scale. 
uh, given a starting pitch, we want to generate all pitches in the major scale, and that's our purpose. For example, given the starting pitch 60, that's the middle C, we want to create a list of pitches in the major scale, such as 60, 62, 64, 65, 67, 69, and 71. Okay. And if we keep the relative distance from the starting pitch, then we will be able to derive all the nodes, such as 0, 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, 11. So, um, if we give a starting pitch 60, so 60 plus 0 is 60, 60 plus 2 is 62, 60 plus 4 is 64, and so forth. So how about one octave notes, high or low? So basically, you know, we know the distance of, you know, between the two octaves is 12. So we simply just add a 12 to it, and then we will all be done. So in order to do that, I'm going to introduce the numpy arrays. Okay. Number of arrays uh, basically is a package you know, or uh, you can get free, you know, or uh, work for Python. So uh, the list of nodes is actually one-dimensional array, so we can keep all the nodes in an array. The numpy package allows array operations such as combining two arrays conveniently, which we want to do that. I will show you immediately. So for example, here uh, I have a list 0, 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, 11. If I plus 60, okay, so basically I, I add 60 to each element in the, uh, in the array, okay. So 60 plus 0 is 60, 60 plus 2 is 62, and so forth. So that would be very convenient, you know, to work on this type of uh, list or array. So numpy.append allow us to, to concatenate or join two this together, okay? So these are well uh, join the two arrays together. So here I'm going to show you the program, okay? So the program start with this uh, uh, header. So we are gonna import the scamp, okay? And then first thing we created a session, and you can set the tempo to. Um, 120 here I set it to 2000 because we're gonna generate a lot of nodes and if you set the tempo to slow you're gonna wait for a long time to just to go through it so you can set it to you know normally you set it to 120 okay but uh, here I'm gonna just set it to 2000 you know to run faster which we which want to generate nodes okay and followed by you create a new part of piano okay so that's a very common way to do it so let's run it and now after that we're gonna generate uh, the nodes in the major scale. Okay, so we import the numpy as MP. So that from now on, we can use MP. Okay, so we start with the major scale. So the major scale is a numpy array. So we put the uh, distance between the starting node and the current node, which is zero, two, four, five, seven, nine, eleven. That's in the major scale. Okay. And we'll keep it in array, okay. So after that, we just need to, you know, uh, because this is one octave, we want to generate this, you know, several octaves, okay. So you are generating from 0, 2, 4, 0, 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, 11, 12, okay, and then 14, 16, 21, and so forth. So the easiest way to do that is I append the major scale, this is array I defined up uh, above. And then I created a list. Okay, so this is a list of list. Inside I have this list. Okay, major scale plus 12 plus i. So each element got increased by 12 times i. Depends on where is i. So i goes from zero. Or here we go from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go to eight. So we're gonna generate nine octaves. Okay, for us. So if we do that, then we can uh print number of nodes is the length of the major scale so how many nodes there and we're going to print the major scale out so here the major scale uh, start from 0 all the way to 107 105 all the way 63 nodes so this, this will be very convenient you know for for basically any major scale okay so if major scale had to follow this relation okay so once we've got a major scale the next thing we're going to create a C major scales 
So I know that the piano notes range from 21 to 108, as I mentioned earlier. So the piano range, we can say piano range equal to range 21 to 109, because the range will give you a number 21, 22, all the way to 108. That is why you need to put 109 there. Okay. So if not, not if the note generated is not within the piano range, we're not going to play it, because when you play it, well, there's no such note in piano. If you generate that note, that's what we need to set up piano range equal to that. Now, now we're gonna generate the notes in C major scale starting from the pitch 12. Okay, uh, 12 it does not exist as a piano, but that's fine. We can generate scale first, and then we can check whether the note is within the range we can play it. Okay. For other keys, it's simply just you know shift around. So for example, C sharp, you can start with a 13. Okay, and for the D, you can start with a 14. For D sharp, you can start with a 15, and so forth. So here the C major, we can just say. 12 plus major scale. Okay, if you want to generate C sharp, you should start with 13. That will be C sharp major scale. So we're gonna try the <coughs> C major 12 first. And now these are all the pitches uh, in the C major scale. And notice that uh, the lowest note is 21 in piano. Okay, the highest note is 108. So any any notes below 21, 19, 17, you know, we are not gonna play it. We're not gonna generate it. In other words, and the notes are larger than 108, 110 to 119. We're not gonna generate it anyway. Okay. So after that, we can play notes in C scale, a C major scale. Okay. So for all the notes in C major, okay, and if we check if the note is in the piano range, we we'll play. Otherwise, we don't play. So if you run this, so hopefully they can hear the sound from the lowest piano or node to the highest 108. Okay, so after that we're gonna uh, generate the random nodes. Okay, so I'm gonna use a NumPy uh, package, so I import NumPy as MP. Okay, so after that I set the random number seed to one two three. You can set it to whatever numbers you want. Uh, setting the number will Will allow us you know to reproduce the results okay sometimes it's needed uh, for debugging or for some purposes you don't want to generate every time uh, it's random but you want every time you run it it generates the same random numbers that's the purpose of setting the random number seed now next we're going to generate the random numbers for the indices okay uh, to the C major so we have C major all the nodes in the C major so we just have to generate the index. So these index are randomly generated, and we can just generate the index uh, from zero to the length of C major. And how many nodes we want to generate? We want to generate 500 nodes. Okay. So you can use numpy np that random that random integer. You cannot generate you know all the numbers you know in between zero to the length. Okay. Uh, minus one of the C major. Okay. So you can run it. So this is the 500 indexes we generated, okay. And lastly, we're gonna uh, play the note, okay, randomly. So we start the transcribing, or oh, every note played will be transcribed to music XML, so that we can convert that to sheet music. So first we play the random notes in C major scale. So remember all the notes we the index that we generate is in the length, in the uh, notes. So if we set the I in the range of length notes, that gonna go over each of them. Okay. Now we check if the C major notes I, okay, it's in the piano range, okay, because that is the note we're gonna play. So we need to set uh we need to check if it's in the range. If yes, then we play the notes. So notice that 500 notes we generate, we may not have you know 500 notes because some of the notes we don't play. Okay. And then uh, this is the velocity, and then this is the the duration. Okay. And after that, after we play all the notes, we're gonna start transcribing and convert that to music XML. So here, simply I said the uh, uh, the title, just random notes in C major scale, and composer and show XML. So I just run it. 
So hopefully you hear some random notes. Okay, so after it's done, now you go to the music score, and this is the score we just generated. Okay, so you can just run it. Okay, let me just show you one more thing. If you want to generate, let's say, a D key, for example, so you can just simply change this 12 to 14 and run it again, run it again. This will be in D key. Okay, so now we should have another sheet music. So this should be in 9 C in D, D major. Okay, uh, so you can see that this there's some sharp there. Okay, so you can change this you know, to. Uh, the D uh, key signature. Okay, so what you can do is you go to uh, palette. Okay, and then you just uh, add the two sharps to it. Now I'll remove all the sharps. Okay, and I'll be in D. Okay, so that's all I have to, for this video. If you like it, please subscribe it, share, and give a comment. Thank you. Have a good day.